Hi everyone, Cordell here with 911 Rapid Response. On today's vehicle showcase, I'm going to be showing you around a pilot car that the team has recently completed here. This is a Ram Promaster City Van. It's a 2017 and it features a lot of custom fabricated work that we've done here in-house at Rapid Response. I'm going to take you around this vehicle now. The whole purpose behind this vehicle is the gentleman that owns it actually escorts oversized loads all throughout the nation. So this vehicle would be the one that you see either in front or behind a load that is not only going to alert other traffic's presence of the oversized load, but we've also installed some specialized things on here that allows him to mount devices onto the vehicle that will check bridge heights and other obstacles for clearance for these oversized loads. So keeping what this vehicle's usage is in mind, we're gonna go around it now. Being this is a Ram Promaster City Van, no one on the market actually readily makes a push bar for the vehicle. The client needed a push bar for this application, so what Rapid Response has done is we've taken a sedan push bar that would go on a Ford Taurus, and we have modified it to fit on the Ram Promaster City Van. Not only have we modified the push bar, we've also added some additional options to this. This started out life as a ProGuard push bar, and we've modified it with these holders on the side that allow the operator of the vehicle to insert poles into the side of the push bar here. He can adjust to different heights for checking bridge clearances. Similar reasons for installing a front trailer hitch to the push bar is not actually for hauling any trailer or that type of application. However, there's a specialized clearance pole that can slide into that receiver um, that grounds. So if he does contact an electrical wire or something like that, it's not going to affect anything. On the front of the vehicle, this sign holder was custom made by Rapid Response and is removable and detachable from the push bar. I can show you that here momentarily. But the sign holder itself houses a sign with the gentleman's name on it. The market graphics team went ahead and, and put the operator's name on the sign. The sign does flip up and can be fastened in this position so that when he's going down the road, he has oversized load in the front and is also equipped with another sign we'll get to later on in the video. When he's not traveling, most times it will be kept like this, or this entire sign frame will be removed from the vehicle. These side angle pieces here actually house flags, so you can actually insert flags into here that will alert other vehicles of the presence of the load. And then as we said, this here is actually removable. We can remove two pins and remove the entire frame from the vehicle. That leaves us with the push bar left. So if he is going to be going over obstacles that limit his ground clearance, this can be removed and then the vehicle gains more ground clearance. What we've also done to the push bar is Rapid Response works with a local company, Premier Protective Coatings, great guys to work with. We have had the push bar and the sign frame coated with their bed lining material. What this does it seals everything nicely from all of the welds that we had to do for the modifications and fabrication. And it also gives everything a clean, even look. This vehicle travels many miles in a year, so there could be uh, many pieces of road debris that could be contacting the push bar or the front sign. And this finish provides a very rugged coating, allowing it to stand up for years to come. For some of the front warning on the vehicle, what you're seeing here is the sound off M power. It's the three inch M power. These lights you see featured in our videos quite often nowadays. They are the silicone housing that are malleable to the touch. We have four of them on the front push bar. And then we have mounted an M power on each side of the fog light on the vehicle for some side warning as well. As we come around the side of the vehicle here, you're going to see we have two CB antennas on the vehicle. The operator of this vehicle actually has two CBs that he runs for um, operating and transporting these oversized loads. The light bar on the vehicle is the Sound Off N Force. This is a dual color light bar. Right now it is in the flashing amber and white mode. What this actually has the capability of doing is flashing amber, flashing amber white, and then also doing a white flood ability. So if he's operating at night and has to make modifications, maybe he has to remove his front sign or anything like that, he can actually flood his light bar providing some illumination to the front of the vehicle 
for when he's working out there if it's dark and he's off to the side of the road. The flip up sign here was actually customer sourced and supplied. What this is, is a system that allows the light bar to mount and an oversized load sign that will flip up and down can incorporate with that mounting system. So we've had to modify this to fit the Enforce light bar. Rapid Response has mounted it to the roof and we actually had to reinforce the roof of the vehicle in order to, for this to work. We'll get to the interior a little bit later, but I'm gonna let Isaac pan in there so you can see the roof supports that we've added. Behind our light bar, you're going to see another set of pole holders. These allow for an additional set of flags to be mounted on the top of the vehicle that will stick out at a 45 degree angle to alert traffic. And then on the rear of the vehicle, what you're going to see here on the roof line are two LED go lights. Now what these go lights allow for is there's two remote controls inside the vehicle, we'll get to later on, but these lights can actually be adjusted left, right, up, down, and pointed in any direction. So when he has items on the front of the vehicle checking for bridge clearances, he can actually use these go lights from in the driver's seat to illuminate where this item may be contacting a bridge just to be extra careful. The graphics package on the vehicle was completed by Market Graphics, the in-house graphics division at Rapid Response. Our team designed this package and applied it. On the side windows here, these windows actually do go up and down and you can see through it, it's not a panel van and this is a perforation on the window. So when you're inside the vehicle, you can actually still see out of the vehicle. What this does is the customer does have a bed in the vehicle, so it's going to cut down on some of the lighting. Some, I'm sorry, it will cut down on some of the sunlight that does gain access to the inside of the vehicle. And it's going to give an overall nice look. Coming to the rear of the vehicle, you're going to see the same perforations that we talked about on the side windows, done on the back glass, along with some chevrons for added visibility. For the warning package in the rear, you're going to see the Technique amber warning lights mounted down low on the vehicle. And then we have sound offs hideaways mounted in the rear housings of the lights. We've installed a trailer hitch on this vehicle for the client, so it did not come factory. We've installed this and wiring for him. There's another sign that can go in the rear trailer hitch to alert motorists. And now that we've seen around the exterior of the vehicle, we're going to get into the interior where we've done some rather unique things. During the pre-construction meeting for this build, the client had asked us if we would be able to build him a bed in the vehicle. He had specific parameters for the bed because he needed a certain amount of space beside the bed as well. So what Rapid Response has done is designed a platform and houses a custom mattress. What we had to do was actually source and build this mattress for this application. It's a foam mattress, so it's very comfortable. And the client will be able to come in here if he's on the road for extended periods of time, catch a little bit of sleep before traveling to his next destination. So not only is it equipped with a bed, but we also have equipped it with an interior light. And on the side of the bed, he has plenty of outlets for 12 volt power for charging accessories and other things while he's on the road. In addition to that, we have 110 power because there is an inverter installed in the vehicle that is up front. All right, everyone, here we are on the interior of the Ram Promaster City van. This vehicle has been modified extensively on the interior. We're going to start up top. We've used this factory shelf as a means to mount all of the equipment in the vehicle for the client. So off to our right, we have two CBs. One is a Cobra, one is a Galaxy. He can use these to monitor different channels while he's out on the road and speak to the different people he has to to help coordinate the transport of the oversized load. To the left of the CBs, we have these two joystick controls. We spoke about the go lights on the rear of the vehicle previously, and that is what these actually control. So by turning the toggle switch on, you'll see a red light start to illuminate. And then we have control of the go light. So we can adjust this vertical and horizontally. It can do a full 
360, so you can go to either sides of the vehicle and even off the rear of the vehicle as well, depending where you need the illumination, depending where you may be working at the time. To the left of this, we have a sound off signal six button controller. What this allows for is several features that we've programmed into the vehicle. So we have a rear flashing if the client would only like to have rear amber warning, depending what he's doing. We have the front amber warning. We have white flashing. And then we have our work lights mounted here underneath the tray. We actually have the inverter's remote. So it's handy right there for the client. He can turn the inverter on and off as needed. The inverter also automatically senses load and will turn on and off as needed. We've installed an additional set of power sockets here for him. When he's out on the road for so long, he um, has a lot of accessories that need to keep charged. We've installed here a Uniden Bearcat scanner. This allows him to monitor different things when he's out on the road that may be happening near or around them. And in, with the scanner, we've also given him this radio here that allows him to monitor different frequencies on the scanner and then type them into this radio and be able to talk to certain people. For mic holders in this vehicle, we've gone with the style that you may see in a heavy truck where the operator can pull them down, speak, let them go, and they will retract up out of the way. All right, guys, thank you for taking the time to go over this vehicle showcase with us. I've seen comments in the past asking if we do pilot car work and we're able to upfit any needs you have for a specialized vehicle. Check us out at 911rapidresponse.com, follow us on our Instagram, like us on Facebook, and if you're local, Anvil, Pennsylvania is the location of our brick and mortar store. We have a three lane indoor firing range and all sorts of other public safety apparel and accessories for the general public as well.